Our presentation topic is process management of 4D digital twin using BIM and QIM models. The Korean apartment construction project involves simultaneous input of resource. The sequence of the construction is generalized to conventional method. It is can be managed sequentially. General contractors cannot arrange subcontractors indefinitely. The allocation plan must be established based on the construction quantity. For this, quantitative analysis of the project is important. However, subcontractors' allocation is dependent on the empirical knowledge of the general contractors. The complexity of the resource allocation faced by general contractors depends on characteristic of the project. In the field, this problem has been solved based on the empirical knowledge. There may be limitation in this process because there are many variables and uncertainties. In fact, it has been revealed that the task performed by subcontractors, time waiting and waste occurring between tasks account for 32% of time lost. This shows that the current system is impossible to allocate efficiently in construction project. A construction project is the product system and output is derived according to the inputs. Therefore, accurate and reliable predicting of the performance is very important. So, we propose a 4D digital twin framework that supports optimized decision making in construction project and try to solve this problem. Digital twin can be described real object beyond pure information. It contains algorithms that support decision making on operation in the product system based on the process data. Rafael Sachs conducted a study called Construction Using a Digital Twin Information System based on the project status and project information and knowledge. The digital twin construction workflow using this system focuses on the data collection, state analysis of the building and process, and prediction according through the monitoring of the physical twin construction site. Based on this, digital twin analyzes the production system and requires the framework that can be made of various predictions. The framework should have the data server and the decision model. We adopt the BIM as the data server and the QE model as the decision making system. BIM can provide a wide variety of information and has been used to support decision making in limited area. According to the LOD of the BIM models, it is possible to calculate information about the planned work. However, BIM cannot provide all of the detailed information on materials, labor cost, and expense for all work included in BOQ. And this cannot provide information related to the human resource at the micro level. No matter how valuable BIM is and how much information is contained, it is only the reference information to support good decision making. Therefore, to increase the value of the BIM, framework is essential. The function of the digital twin include monitoring the construction site, analyzing the condition of the construction process, and supporting decision making. To support this function, a queuing model is applied. Queuing models enable mathematical analysis of the series of so process arriving in the queue, waiting, and being serviced. And it is useful to check the performance of the system. In order to apply the queuing models to the construction field, it is necessary to define the unit of the work to be the completed in a certain period of time. And to define the resource and productability required to perform unit tasks. In the queuing models, various models can be applied to consideration of the service capability of the server and the customer service request. The queuing models can be used the decision-making model through the simplified expression of the product system and the selection of the model considering uncertainty. The 4D digital twin framework combines BIM-based BOQ as data server and the queuing models as the decision-making model. As explained in the queuing models, divide the complex construction product system into service provider who provides service and customer who receives service. In this process, resource allocation is made based on the empirical knowledge of general contractor. The queuing system of the apartment construction can be expressed the work group and work package. Depending on how resource allocated, the service status of the queuing system change. The general contractor monitors the status of the system through the performance indexes of the queuing system. 
If the performance is different from the plan, the allocation can be adjusted and construction plan can be changed at the micro level. The proposed framework has three advantages. First, possible to utilize the information on the exact amount of work. Second, it can be applied at each stage of the construction. Third, possible to monitoring the construction progress of multiple units. We try to check the 4D digital twin frameworks could be used in real project. First, all information in the construction project was digitalized through the BIM model. This includes the foam works, rebar works, and concrete works quantity per unit of work package. Elements to be input the queuing models were extracted from the digitalizing information. The target project has the 5 units, and the total work package is the 130 units. In this table, the resource input plan of the site is expressed. There is the guide on the number of manpower to be put into each work group. However, the actual productability of the input manpower is different. The problem of the how much manpower must be put in to complete the work of the one work package contains a lot of the uncertainties. This table shows the number of the residential buildings assigned to the one work groups and the mean service rate according to the activity cycle. Our project mean service rate is the set of the follows red box. The queuing models provides quantitative analysis result for the current operating state of the system and result for resource input improvement. As you can see, it was confirmed that quantitative analysis of resource input is possible. In addition, analysis of 6 days and 5 days activity cycle was performed. The prediction allowed the construction project manager to simplify the problem by how many additional people would need it to reduce one activity cycle from 7 days to 5 days. Two basic performance indicators, the way to determine the status of queuing system is to analyze the probability of how many customers are waiting to be served. When one activity cycle is 5 days, the probability of having to wait for the work package to receive service is improved. Through our frameworks, it was possible to check how much system status monitoring and decision making based on the empirical knowledge improved the system. We propose 4D digital twin frameworks to manage the apartment construction process. It is important to have the model for 3D shape and a model that support decision making. It was able to prove that BIM was sufficient to provide information and it has already evolved to level that can sufficiently provide construction information. The queuing models that support decision making in the frameworks helps to quantitative analyze the state of the system according to the input data based on the empirical knowledge. However, it cannot provide optimized resource allocation because it is learned by accumulated experience. Therefore, in future research, in order to solve complex decision-making problems, if the emerged machine learning technology and BIMs are combined, a better 4D digital twins will be realized. Thank you for watching our presentation.